own your case, it's your case, not the solicitors. So make sure you understand everything, what's going on with it. Because we see people, they might have decisions and they don't understand what that decision means. Now that to me is very worrying, you know, because we should all know what's going on in our lives. You know, we should know, say for example, why the Home Office won't let you take this route to leave to remain or that route or what routes are available for you. Also, what's important is the merits of your case because sometimes you don't fit into a criteria so you need to understand that this is not for you, you're not going to win this case or there's very little chance of success. So what we've seen is where solicitors might say, oh yeah, you've got a very good case here when they clearly haven't, they spend a lot of money on the case, it gets refused, refused and they keep throwing good money after bad to solicitors for further appeals and further appeals. So really we want the solicitors to be honest and say, look, you haven't got any merits. If you want to push this forward, that's your choice. You're an adult. These, these are our fees. Uh, what are the options do people have um, to get help if they find it difficult to understand the regulations? I mean, go to, you know, find out if a charity or an organisation is registered with the OISC, Office of Immigration Services Commission. Um, go to, like, charities you trust because they, they often know who the good charities are and the bad charities and then they can refer on. So, you know, uh, we get other charities sending people to come and see people at brush strokes because they trust them. So, you know, there's a lot of, I mean, you know, this is a global thing. We go to people we trust. We speak to people who've had good experiences. That's how we work as human beings. We should, you know, kind of follow that pattern.